Hey everybody and welcome to another video. I was really excited when I opened Lockwick Studio this morning that they did have an update here and this is what their update consists. Right, so you do have to manually upgrade for these features that have just rolled out for the newer version B192 that's coming out. So you do have to upgrade for that one. And the one that I have is B191. They do have advanced features. So the features that they're coming out with is AI painting assistant, which I'm really excited to see AI integrated in Lockwick Studio. That's news to me. I've never heard of that before coming out. And then just it just becoming a part of Lockwick is crazy. So they also added anchor point um, drawing pen feature, which it's probably going to give you more free range to create your own shapes, which is exciting, especially as someone who's worked in Adobe Illustrator. So they did add a more patterns feature, which is actually their shape function. So we'll see more shapes that we'll be able to use and edit and create our own SVGs. And they did also add support for font Boolean function. I believe that's like merging shapes. Um, kind of like Illustrator when you merge two shapes or you subtract a shape, kind of similar to Design Space. They didn't have that before, so I'm excited that they will be having that now. Lots of bugs, fixes, and also added more languages. That's great. So let's go ahead and update Lockwick and see where it goes. Okay, now it's telling me to restart Lockwick, so we're going to go ahead and restart it. If your computer does ask under the security, like allow Lockwick Idea Studio to run, just press allow. And whatever service they have associated with it is fine. Oh, well, that's cool. So they added this little window about the upgrade. That's pretty cool. And I'm seeing some, oh, finally some welding options. So at my screenshot here. And yeah, I'm seeing all this option up here that they didn't have before. And it did say it had something with AI drawing. So let's see here. Oh, okay. AI painting assistant. Within just a few seconds, you can transfer text into amazing images. What? And it says, um, sorry for the elaborated excitement. Okay. On the drawing function, it says pen. It's draw freely and effortlessly with your unlimited creativity. Abundant new patterns get inspired by more unique and lovely patterns. So it says the free trial is October 2023 to March 2024. That is a great length of period for a free trial. I love that. And it says after the trial, a paid subscription is required, which I think it should be charging for this because I've never heard of an AI feature. And I could be wrong because I, I haven't explored other um, cutting machines, but Locklick and Cricut, and I haven't heard it from any other crafters who speak about this. So this is exciting. Um, that is a great length of period for a free trial. I love that. It's not a month. It's not a cheesy two week or one week where some AI generators only allow so much. So that is very exciting to me. Um, and I'm sure like the paid subscription isn't outrageous because Locklick and HTV Rot have made things so affordable for us crafters. Like we're going to go ahead and see where that leads us. I wonder if I have to upgrade now. Do I have to press that? Let me see. Oh, okay. Wow, it says you can enjoy advanced functions now. So here's the patterns. So star, triangle, love heart, nice, arc, diamond, rounded, and banner. That's exciting. So let's see. Okay, let me just delete this picture back here. So we got a star, we have a triangle, we have a beautiful little heart here, we have an arc. That's nice. Um, if you are into Adobe Illustrator, if you've, you know, or you've worked with similar 
software. These shapes, these basic shapes are great to build on. So when you're creating new shapes or, you know, images, I like having these options. And then on top of that, I don't know if anybody else was excited to see that they have a path point um, editor. So like you can make all kinds of things with your lock click shapes. It just, it doesn't stop and I love that. So a lot going on here, a lot of banners and stuff. These are cute. I love this. Okay. All right, everybody, before you jump into the next um, thing we're going to do here with AI, where after you update your Lockwood Crafter, you want to go ahead and make sure you go to your help button here and change the language to the language that you need. So I ended up changing it to English and I went ahead and closed out my Lockwood software and reopened it because I thought maybe that's why. I couldn't get the AI to work properly, and I, it's because of that. So go ahead and choose your language, close it out, reopen, and then you're going to go ahead and click the AI graphic. So here is the exciting part of this update is this AI graphic generator. And I'm not the most keenest person to have worked with an AI generator, but I know like the basics. So... They do have the text to image for simple um, AI generating, and then they have image to image where you can upload your image reference and go from there, which is pretty neat. And it also has the same amount of style options. So I did use this once and it did take one of my credits, but it does reset every day um, at 12 a.m. So for me, every day at 12 a.m. Pacific time, it resets to 20 images a day. So that's really neat. You could really do a whole lot there and then also possibly save those uh, projects on your library. I think you should. So we're going to go ahead and test this out. Um, as I said, I'm not super keen on AI generators. So I'm just going to go with something super simple and I'm going to put like Halloween cat and I, I'm going to put like colorful and, and I'm going to put cute and spooky. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be separating these with commas, but um, yeah, we'll go with that. And then a negative prompt. So just to see if it works, I'm going to put like no flowers. All right, so I put no flowers because I don't want any flowers in anything spooky. And I'm just going to put it up to two image counts. And it's going to take two of my credits. And I am also going to choose Neon Future, I believe it says. Oh, Futurism. Okay. So Neon Futurism, two images, Halloween cat, colorful, cute, and spooky. And we're going to click Generate. Wow, okay, <laughs> it gave me these wild cats. Um, they're pretty cool looking. I like this one on the left. I guess the more specific I am with my prompt, it'll be more like in detail of what I expected, but it's really neat. I like it. So let's just import this one here. So you can't choose both, which uh, I would hope that you could if you're going to get have both your credits taken so um i don't know i really don't know how ai works like if you can't choose both anyway but this is cool so i'm gonna press import and this is the image upload area it looks the same too so i don't want to do anything crazy to it i'm gonna leave it as the original and import to canvas so we have our cat here and he's super cool he'd look nice on a mug or a shirt, I guess. Um, but yeah, look how nice that graphic looks. Like, it's beautiful. Pretty, pretty big on detail. So it looks great. Love it. So our future is the cat works with AI generator. 
Uh, that's really exciting to see. I love that Locklick has this implemented in their software. This is new to me. I think it's great, um, but definitely make sure that you change your language and restart the program in order for it to work. Okay, so there is something I did want to touch on, which is the text feature, which the first few updates when it first was brand new, it did not have this option for fonts. But I do want to reply to someone who was on my YouTube. I didn't think they were asking about how to import fonts. I actually tried to see if I can like manually import them and it didn't work. Um, I'm not sure if that's like considered open end software. I should have Googled that. But but they did actually add this in there where you can go ahead and change your fonts. So Glockwick does offer their own fonts, which is great because I'm sure they're royalty free. Like you don't have to worry about that. But if you did have purchases, like I'm constantly downloading all the fonts ever from Creative Fabrica. I love my account there. Um, it has all my system fonts now that I can now use, which is great because we spend a lot of money on fonts and subscriptions to have these fonts, and we definitely want to use them with our cutting software. So I'm just going to click my font there, and I'm just going to type. So I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to type something. So let's type hello. And it didn't change. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So you have to click it. Click out of it for it to change. And you are able to edit your text, your colors. I love that. Um, I'm not sure if they had fixed the stroke option quite yet. Oh, they did. So it's great. I do wish that the stroke was behind the text. So that way it's not in front of it where it minimizes the font color in the front. Um, I wish there was an option kind of like in Adobe Illustrator where you can, one, pull the stroke behind or two, um, also add a second stroke. That would be cool. I'm not sure if that's possible right now. I haven't really tried it out. But you can change the end caps and the corners, which is really nice because not every font is rounded. And I like that. And then you can change the millimeter and the weight. I love that. And the length. So length. I'm not too sure how this would work. Oh, okay. That's what it does. So kind of like Adobe Illustrator, you can also do like a dotted line feature. I'm going to press round. Oh, I love this. I'm sorry for the overexcitement, but ah, I love it. Okay, so there's so much you can do with the text now, and it's just great. So let's go ahead and jump into the next update that I saw, which is the pen tool. So. I thought it would be like a actual like drawing feature and this might be different on an iPad which I will be testing out soon as soon as I find like a software that I can record with on my iPad um, to see how it functions on iOS as well. But this is the pen tool which is really neat for me because I love using the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator and I just think it's great to go ahead and edit shapes and things like that on your own without having to like go to a second software to do it. So you can edit all these features as well here. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a line here. Yeah, and it works really well and it closes. Okay, so let's try to make a heart. Gonna try and make a heart here. And ooh, I don't know. It's not the greatest heart right now. But how do I okay? So that's how I closed it off. It is awful. But the cool thing about Locklick Studio is that you are able to edit your paths, which is a great thing. I love it. And you can just kind of edit them. 
Oops. Let me zoom in here. Boop, boop. Okay. So you can edit them. I kind of wish that I could like, I don't know if I can, these two endpoints and weld them. No, not like, wait, did it do it? I think it did. No, it didn't. So I couldn't join those two paths together, but that would be a great feature to have similar to Adobe Illustrator. Um, but it does do like your own pen tool stuff. So let's see. You can maximize the stroke, round cap. No, it didn't change. I don't know what happened there. Oh, round. Boop, there it goes. And yeah, all kinds of fun stuff there, guys, with the pen tool. I know my heart looks like poop, but you know what? It's a lazy day today. It's rainy outside in California, and I'm just enjoying all these neat updates. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching my overexcited video of the Locklick Studio update. Um, if you guys want to see more videos or if you want me to, like, go over each, like, panel area of what's what, I can go ahead and do that. Just leave it in the comments. Um, I'm not too sure what else I could go over as far as the updates that just happened. So everything's brand new right now. But... Um, there wasn't an update yet of the print and cut. I don't have an update for that. If they did fix that, this update, I haven't tried it yet. And I am crunched on time right now, so I will be able to test it out in the next video. Um, I wasn't able to print and cut imported images yet, but I'm sure it's a function they're going to fix. Like, they've been doing great and excelling on a great path here. I'm really excited to see what Locklick has in store for us. They, I don't know, I'm really happy for them. So this is exciting. And I want to be able to make updates as they come out and hear your guys' concerns. And, you know, hopefully if you guys are having any issues or anything, I can try to give feedback as well. Because there is this option up here where you can click feedbacks and errors and you leave your suggestions or your questions in there which is great because this is something I feel that a lot of crafters need when they need to voice their concerns and they're being heard so you can suggest you know you put feedback and errors in this area um, if you're having problems but if we can walk through it together let's do that and we'll try from there because Things can only get better from here on out for Lockwick. In my opinion, they're on the, the right path and I'm ready to see them really bust out of their shell and do everything that they are doing. So super exciting, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching.